guys, welcome to Planning with Crystals. So today's unboxing is a Degusta box selection box. It's not selection box like Christmas. It is currently June 2022. This is like a special selection of products done by Degusta box. So if you're familiar with the Degusta box, it is a monthly subscription box, food and drink supplies. It usually retails at $12.99 a month, including free UK delivery. I'll put a link and discount code underneath if you do want to get your first box for $7.99. So that's a £5 discount and you get two free gifts if you sign up this month. So if you do want to check out the latest monthly Degusta box for June 2022, 22 i'll put a card here and you can go and check that out there's a whole playlist of them as well if you want to see what's come in previous month's boxes but today we're going to be talking about degusta box selection so this is worth over 35 pounds i've worked out it's worth 35 pounds 45 based on the contents we've got here and i paid 15.99 for this the rrp on the box is 17.99 but you can still get it discounted for 15.99 at the time of making the video again free uk delivery and i'll put the links and discount code underneath so in this video we're going to unbox it we're going to have a look at everything in Side. we're going to see is it worth getting is it any better than your standard degusta box and kind of do a little bit of review see what we think i'll also be tasting some of the products and talking to you about how much each individual item is worth what it does and yeah let's dive right in so one thing i noticed when i opened up the box was a few products on top i've just removed but they've got these like kind of cardboard sort of little folded bits in just to kind of keep everything secure so it does feel like it's packaged slightly differently to usual boxes which are a little bit more bubble wrap and then everything thrown in so there are some interesting products in here. It is a little bit different from the general monthly box, but not massively. But anyway, let's see what's in here and we can decide together. So there isn't any kind of specific theme or anything with this box. It is just a selection. So it's supposedly extra special products that they've picked. And a lot of the items in here do kind of feel a little bit more like a treat than potentially some of the items you get in a standard Degusta box, but some are more like cupboard essentials. We're just gonna have a look and see what's in here. So I have got something in some bubble wrap here. So this is a drink by a brand called Calix, I think it is. And it says, made with real flowers, natural feel-good flavour, handcrafted, and it's lavender and strawberry, a natural still drink with a hint of cinnamon. So it's 250ml bottle and it says to shake well. I'll just take a second before I open it so it doesn't explode everywhere. So this retails at $1.99 and it says Uplifting Calyx Blush is a luscious blend of organic lavender flower and delicious natural strawberry juice concentrate with a twist of lemon juice and cinnamon. It can be consumed chilled, warmed up or as a mixer. Ooh, warmed up. That'd be good for the winter, wouldn't it? 100% natural product, high in antioxidants and phytonutrients. Enjoy the blush from inside to out. And you can get this from Waitrose, John Lewis, Booths, Amazon, the Calyx website and bars and restaurants in the UK. So this is completely new to me, but I do like these kind of fruit blended drinks. Let's see if we can get in. So it has got the smell of fruits, I guess. But like settled fruits, you know, like if you were to buy a load of kind of frozen fruit or like mushed up fruit and you just I don't know how you'd smell it but that's what it smells like to me anyway so it's a still drink I was expecting it to be fizzy I don't know why it doesn't say it's fizzy but that was just what I was guessing it would be so it's completely still it's an interesting flavor I do like it it kind of tastes quite herbally so hopefully you'll know whether that's something that appeals to you or not I guess it's the lavender that leaves that quite interesting taste so it leaves a little bit of an aftertaste but it's quite a nice aftertaste like a sort of fresh type aftertaste it's not massively lavender -y. you do get the strawberry and you definitely get that hint of cinnamon i think maybe the cinnamon is the most overpowering flavor in there not that it's massively overpowering but it is there so if you don't like cinnamon it's probably not going to be one for you but other than that it is interesting it's something different and it's not necessarily something i would have picked up myself which is both a pro and a con for these types of boxes because you have no control over what's inside the next item is an absolute favorite in this house and it's a nice big treat so this is by tony's chocoloni and it is the milk caramel sea salt bar and it's the 180 gram bar so it's a big bar you have to do like smaller ones as well and it says it retails at 398 i think we've paid about 350 for these before they come in a lot of different flavors but for me this is the best the absolute best one they do so it's fair trade milk chocolate with caramel and sea salt Tony's Chocolone are on a serious mission to end slavery in the chocolate industry they lead by example to show that chocolate can be made differently their vision is 100 slave-free chocolate not just their chocolate but all chocolate worldwide 
It's available in Waitrose, Sainsbury's, Tesco, Ocado and lots of independent retailers. So when you open it up, it's one of those that's in foil. I'm going to taste some because, you know, I feel like you deserve to see me eat this chocolate and, and have it. So the chocolate inside is all sort of unevenly divided. It's done that way so that it kind of symbolises everyone's getting a different amount for what they provide. I think that's the sort of idea behind it. So that's quite fun. Like I said, it looks like it's kind of melted and then dried again, which is not ideal, but like I said, a bit of a risk, I suppose, when it goes through the kind of postal delivery type service. So this is what it looks like. You can see those little bits in there of like caramel and salt. Very tasty. Next up, something a little bit different. So these are fruits for drinks, which I actually think is a really good idea, but they're quite an expensive product. So they're basically freeze dried blueberries from cupboard to glass in approximately 20 servings. That doesn't mean 20 blueberries, it means enough for like 20 glasses. Maximum taste, minimum waste. So it says grab glass, add fruit, pour and enjoy. One serving is five blueberries. It says store in a cool dry place away from direct sunlight and ensure the bag is resealed after every opening. The idea is you put it in your drink, whether that be an alcoholic drink or a non-alcoholic drink, and it gives you that kind of fresh blueberry taste and fresh blueberries. So it says delicious freeze dried fruit cocktail garnish, which completes the perfect drink. Ideal for gin, vodka, rum, tequila, brandies, whiskies, Prosecco, sparkling wines and champagnes. Also great for low or no alcohol products. Store it like a bag of pasta. No more prepping and no more waste. Nothing added, it's just fruit. They're available on Amazon, Drink Supermarket, Craft 56, Master of Malt, fruitsfordrinks.com. They retail at 7 99 which I think is really, really expensive. Having said that, I did get some freeze-dried orange slices to put in drinks from a recent like cocktail type box. I got it was a non-alcoholic cocktail box and they sent them along and oh my gosh, it really enhanced the drinks. So I can kind of see where they're going with it. Don't know that I'd pay eight pound for it. Having said that, if it lasted 20 drinks, then perhaps that would be worth it. I guess it all depends on whether this is something you think you will use and enjoy. So I'm happy to have it but it feels like eight pounds is quite a lot for this product. Next up, we've got a box of cereal. I'm really excited to see this in here. This is exactly the sort of thing I have for breakfast every day. So this is by Rude Health and it's the chocolate crunch granola, high fiber, plant-based. So I have like usually a muesli, but I'm not averse to granola and Rude Health do make some really nice versions of it. They tend to be a little bit healthier as well. Brilliant ingredients, nothing artificial, just a little bit pricier than other brands, which is why I don't have them quite as often. So this is a whole grain option and it's just got oats, raw cane sugar, spelt flakes, sunflower oil, cocoa powder, roasted almonds, coconut chips and sea salt, nothing else. So there is sugar in there, but it is raw cane sugar. So they're trying to make it a little bit better for you. So these retail at £3.50. They're available on Ocado, Waitrose and Tesco. And it says chocolate crunch granola is an oat based blend of eight all natural whole ingredients, including cocoa powder, roasted almonds and coconut chips. The result, a deliciously indulgent start or end to your day. And if that isn't enough, it comes packaged in a 100% recyclable box made from over 80% renewable materials. Something else in a bit of bubble wrap. So this is a relish and it's by a brand called Ballet Malo. It won a great taste award in 2020. That sounds very promising. An Irish family food company and it's original relish, delicious with cheese, sandwiches, cold meats and burgers. And it is a 210 gram jar. It's gluten-free, suitable for vegans and made using only 100% natural ingredients. Let's have a taste. Oh, it's a bit weird, but it smells good. It smells tomato as you would expect, seeing as the main ingredient is tomatoes. Hmm. That is very nice. So that will be perfect on cheese and biscuits. It's got a few bits of like chunks and stuff in there. That is extremely tasty, actually. It's one of those. You can still kind of taste it on your tongue in a really nice way and it makes me kind of want to go back for more. It makes me want to go and grab a block of cheese if I'm honest. So this retails at 220 and I'd definitely say from that first impression it's probably worth it. It's available in Tesco, Ocado and Sainsbury Irish section. I didn't even know there was an Irish section, that's cool, I'll have to check it out. Myrtle Allen perfected her recipe for tomato relish in 1964 at Ballymallow House. Our original relish is made using only 100% natural ingredients that are made in small batches by our chefs. It is so versatile and tastes delicious with cheese, sandwiches, burgers and much more. Speaking of cheese, we have got some snacking cheese. Now I actually bought a small version of this. I did a big order with Snackfully recently. 
got lots and lots of like healthy snacks because I love to snack and I'm trying to be a bit healthier and these are really tasty. So they're like a freeze dried cheese is basically how I would describe it. I think I'm going to dip some of this in there. I'll, I'll have another taste of the cheese on its own and then we'll, we'll dip some in the little dip. So it says whole virgin wheel of mature Italian, something I can't pronounce, cheese. Crumbled and baked in the super special oven. Seriously crunchy, 100% cheese snack. So we've got a 60 gram bag. These retail at £2.90. And it says we've reinvented the wheel of cheese. Whole virgin wheel of mature Italian cheese crumbled and baked in a super special oven. The result, a super crunchy, 100% cheese snack that's off the chart tasty. It's a snacking game changer, mark our words. Vegetarian, high protein, gluten free, lactose free and available at Sirius Pig London, Sainsbury's Local, Amazon and Whole Foods. Oh, smell the cheese. This is what they look like and they are quite crunchy because they've been dried. It tastes like a really good cheese. The taste to me, and I guess it's because it's like Italian cheese and things, a little bit like the cheese you get on a pizza. And it almost has that like, not burnt taste, but that cooked taste that you get from the cheese as well. Very, very tasty and quite satisfying without having to eat too much of it because it's just a really concentrated, quite strong cheese flavour. So you would struggle to sort of have the whole lot of it in one go, thankfully. Dip it in there, the perfect pairing. Mm. So yeah, if you get this box, try them together. They work perfectly together. Next up, we have got a rather interesting product. So this is quite a new product made by Heinz and it's Heinz made for veggies, balsamic and rosemary. The perfect sauce to pair with your veggies. And this is a 250 ml and it's worth £2.50. Although I have seen it on offer in a lot of supermarkets for about 150 recently. It's available on Ocado and at Morrison's. It says, say goodbye to bland tasting vegetables. I like the taste of vegetables. I wouldn't usually add like a sauce or a dip to vegetables, but I wanted to give it a try. Heinz has created Made for Veggies, a range of expertly crafted sauces inspired by cuisines from around the world and designed to bring an explosion of flavour to all your vegetable dishes. Enjoy by generously coating, cooking and dipping your vegetables in these sauces. Next up, we've got a little alcoholic drink and this is teeny tiny, but it's quite a strong drink so it is by moth and i've heard of these i've seen them on i think like instagram and stuff and thought that sounds interesting I'm not really a big alcohol drinker but it does sound quite interesting so this is espresso martini vodka cold brew coffee liqueur playlist bit of a mouthful 14.9 percent volume chill shake enjoy so it's a 125 ml can it says mix of total happiness and it's 1.9 uk units it says, count on this to open your eyes. Smooth, bitter, balanced, likes a glass, icy enough to write your name on. Goes with anything sweet, like a lover. Perfect with your favourite playlist. If you were to live somewhere forever, where would it be? Interesting. So this retails at 3 99 for this tiny can, but I guess that's because of the alcohol and things in there. It says, shake and squeeze into a martini glass for a serious layer of froth and garnish with coffee beans if you're looking to impress. It's available in Waitrose, Tesco and Sainsbury's. Not going to try that right now. I will be driving later, so not able to, unfortunately. The next thing is non-alcoholic, but kind of replicates an alcoholic thing. So these are sweets. They are Prosecco gummies. They're by a brand called Ask Mummy and Daddy, which is a gourmet confectionery company. Another one I've seen on Instagram and sort of looked into and never got around to ordering because you'd have to kind of order from them directly, I think. And I'd have to spend quite a lot to get free delivery. Anyway, it just never happened. We get a 50 gram bag or 1.76 ounce. The palm oil free, non-alcoholic and made with natural colours. So you'll get one of four flavours. You will either get pina colada, gin fizz, prosecco, rose or mojito. Now my preference would probably have been pina colada just because I like that taste. But I'm willing to try some prosecco gummies. So they retail at 2 95 so they're quite expensive. They are gourmet sweets. Um, like I said, I've seen them before. They're made in the UK. They look like really interesting products. I like the kind of fancy packaging and stuff. These are definitely adult sweets as opposed to kids ones. Although I guess kids could eat them. They are non-alcoholic. Um, but they're at that price point, I think, because they are aimed to be like a special kind of adult treat. So they are super cute little gummy bears. So for me, I wouldn't say they taste like Prosecco. They actually taste more like 
those pint pots like lager type sweets you can get which i love by the way i think it's that kind of almost like a hopsy type taste they're very nice though but texture wise just like any other gummy bear and they're all like a kind of orangey yellowy color so yeah i will enjoy them i don't think they taste like prosecco so it says there's nothing better than a cool cocktail on a hot summer's evening these gourmet cocktail flavors include pina colada gin fizz prosecco rose and mojito all rich in flavour, tastes like the real thing, that once you open these you will not stop, but make sure you share. Completely alcohol free, palm oil, oil free and made with natural colours. They're available at askmummyanddaddy.com or on Amazon Prime. Next up we have got some organic pizza sauce, a little bit random I know. This is by Sibio and I think we've had something else from this brand, I think it might have been like tomatoes or something. Very very high quality brand, really nice tomatoey products, the best I've used. More expensive but really really good. So this is worth £1.45 and it's a 390 gram carton. Now I don't really make pizza from scratch but whenever I've been sent pizza sauces and things before in similar boxes like this I just tend to use it with a bit of pasta, make a bit of a tomato -y pasta and it's fine. Generous and rich in taste, Sirio organic pizza sauce allows you to rediscover the good taste of tomatoes grown in the field under the Italian sun. The creamy sauce is seasoned with a hint of onion, basil and oregano and will give all your pizzas an Italian style. Can also be used in a pasta dish or to cook meat in sauce. Each Degusta lover received either the Garfolo Linguini or the organic pizza sauce, which is what I have got. So it's 96% tomatoes, which is impressive. Then it's got 1% sugar, sea salt, basil, rehydrated oregano and some acidity regulator. Long story short, it's mostly tomatoes. It gets an A on this thing called Nutri-Score, which I've never seen before. Suggests it's healthy though. So I will definitely put that to good use. Then we have got some Molden Sea Salt Flakes, which I actually quite like. Sea Salt Flakes is the sort of thing I buy. It's not a really exciting thing, but this is a high quality salt. So I will put it to good use. It just seems a bit of a random thing to include. So this is worth £1.40 and it's the Molden Salt Original 125 gram box and it says our soft crunchy sea salt flakes contain the perfect balance of natural minerals offering a fresh intensity and clean taste to enhance any dish and it's available in all the major supermarket chains. Finally we have got a little mixer. It is a tonic water, it's cranberry and ginger and it's by a brand called Double Dutch. Perfectly balanced, all natural premium mixer and we will try it in just a second so it's a 150 ml can i will actually drink tonic water on its own particularly if it's flavored obviously it's a little bit better with like a gin although i've been having like a non-alcoholic gin recently which has been incredible anyway so this is worth 60 pence it says double dutch cranberry and ginger mixer is the perfect blend of warm and tangy complex and spicy it's ideal for dark spirits both alcohol and human and is guaranteed to spice up your drink perfectly paired with rum oh okay it also brings cognac and floral gins to life available on Ocado, tesco waitrose and double dutch drinks Dot com. So I do feel like flavoured tonics are having a massive like moment at the minute which I always thought it was like the gin flavours that were the big thing at the minute so then I thought well why would you put a flavoured gin with a flavoured tonic but in some cases I guess they complement each other. That is nice, that is nice. So you get the flavours almost moving over each other so I kind of get a hint of cranberry but it's quite subtle and then that sort of slight burn of the ginger but nothing too intense it actually works really well it feels really nice on the tongue very very nice I would definitely repurchase that very nice so I guess my favorite things in here that tonic really tasty I'm excited to try the espresso martini that looks very promising love the Tony's chocolate chocolate sweets really really nice as well love that granola love the cheese love the relish and then there's a few other interesting kind of things to try so yeah all in all I like it I think it's worth the 15.99 I paid for me and for what I eat and what we buy food wise and things but obviously you've got to decide whether this kind of fits into what you would actually like and enjoy so like I said I'll put the links and discount codes underneath if you do want to get the box and there is details all about Degusta box itself and things of that nature and um, so let me know in the comments what do you think of this selection box would you pick one up i've reviewed things like the cold box before and the advent calendar that degusta box do and um, so it's interesting to see what was in the degusta box selection because it's the first time i've actually done an unboxing of the selection
box. Selection box makes me think of Christmas, but anyway, it's very much June. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.